So I wanted to do a quick home gym tour. Um, this one's going to be more of a shotgun style. I'm just going to kind of breeze through everything. And if you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comments. Um, I know when I watch these, I still end up going to Google anyway or Marketplace to see, you know, if I can find whatever somebody, you know, reviewed or something like that. So I'll just do that. So let's just get into it. Uh, the first thing, of course, is the flooring. I'm um, uh, four by six quarter inch horse stall mats. Got them from Tractor Supply. Also have like the black Gorilla Tape for the, uh, you know, the, the, the seams that are kind of open. I hadn't had anything that, you know, was sliding around or anything like that. But once I, I had laid down the mats before I had put the equipment in there, um, very durable. I uh, hadn't had any problems. You know, it was times that I was sliding equipment around trying to get the right fit, but nothing ever came up. And if it did, I just pull up the tape and, you know, retape it. So I have 15 of them. There was a website that I went to to kind of measure out, you know, uh, how they would fit in the space that I had. So definitely check out horse stall mats if that's something that you're interested in. It's all over YouTube. Um, a couple of other friends that I know had them. So it's, it gives you that, that gym floor look as well. So horse stall mats. I ideally wanted to have a, a main functional piece of equipment. So I had went with the uh, jacked up fitness brand. This right here is the extreme rack. Um, long story short, it comes with pretty much everything that I wanted, you know, before I thought about getting the other stuff. I wanted just one main piece of equipment that would you know, pretty much do anything. So, and this does that. Um, if you wanted to do just like standard squats, you know, it comes with the safety attachments, it comes with dip attachments. It has the arm jammers that are back there. It has the little slots to hold bars. It comes with a bar. You know, I put my extra dip bar over there. Smith machine, uh, multi-grip pull-up bar. Uh, other attachments that it comes with that are over here. Um, the leg extension, leg curl. It comes with the uh, the lat bench, you know, the seat, and it has an extender. Uh, yeah, it does pretty much everything. Uh, also, landmine. It comes with that as well. It comes with a bench. Yeah, this this thing does everything. But the reason I got the extreme edition is because this you know specific model it has the uh, two to one, one to one ratio. So. Basically, that means if I'm just using, it comes, it has a 200 pound stack. So two to one, you know, it's really just a hundred pounds. If you have it all the way pinned in at the 200 pounds, one to one, it is the, you know, the 200 pounds. And that's, that works perfectly on, you know, the days that I do, you know, lap pull downs and things like that. This right here is new. This is the, uh, I got this last week. This is the Gronk Fitness Leg Extension Leg Curl uh, Machine. Now, I, I had the the Sadie version before this, and that was cool as well. I think anything that you can have at a home gym, if you're planning on having a home gym and you act, you're able to access that machine, it's cool. But I wanted something that was a little bit bigger, a little bit sturdier. And for the price, man, this thing right here is, as they say, a tank. So um, I'm six foot, uh, 210. So this thing has been perfect, man. Um, doesn't move. Or anything like that. And the transition from the extension to the curl is smooth. So if you're like trying to throw the heavier weight on there, you can. Um, even though the Jack Up Fitness comes with its attachment, I got this one because I do a lot of circuits. So I just move from one exercise, you know, to the next, doing supersets, triceps, quad sets. But also my son and my girl work out in here. So rather than try to, you know, mount the 60 pound seat over there. They can just use this. So check them out. Gronk Fitness. Um, there are, I think, for some additional equipment, I might go through them. Just more so because this right here has been, you know, the quality has just been awesome. I do have a leg press here. This is the Sadie version. I know that there's, a, you know, different brands out there, but this is the leg press hack version. And then all you do is when you want to change it to the hack machine, you just pull this lever. And then you just lift the seat up. Um, also use it as a storage, right? <laughs> because I can store my plates 
here, but yeah, it's very durable, sturdy for me. Um, there were some other brands that I was looking at, but for the, you know, the width and the size, like, yeah, I have a good size space here, but you know, this one right here was a, was a perfect size for what I was looking for. And I haven't had any complaints with it, to be honest with you. This is another Sadie version piece of equipment. This is the shoulder press. Um, I had looked at the Titan version, but I think they were the same. That one might be a little bit more sturdy, but I haven't had any issues with this. Uh, due to shoulder -ish issues from lifting over the years, I, when I would go to 24 hour fitness, I would still use the shoulder press machine. So once we, you know, got the home gym, I said, okay, I'm going to get a shoulder press machine. So I went with this one. Um, I think it's like 300 bucks now, which is pretty cheap. Um, right here as well is the, uh, it's an incline machine also from Sadie, just like in the, you know, with the shoulder press machine, I was doing the same thing in the gym. I still would do my incline, uh, dumbbells, but I, I definitely would use the incline machine in the gym. So wanted to make sure I had one here at home. Dumbbell wise, I'm all over the place, man, but that was just a result of COVID. Um, it had started with and I had some 25s that an old roommate of mine had. <laughs> I never really used them until COVID. And, you know, my girl, you know, she had some eights. But during COVID, I had got the both Flex 552s. I lucked out and was able to get the 1090s. And then I just started trying to get my hands on dumbbells. Once COVID really went down, I got those, you know, those metal 55s and 60s from Dick Sporting Goods. Um, I had some 70s, some 80s. And then once... Like I started buying a couple of dumbbells because I used to lift like real heavy in the gym. So once Kobe hit, I was able to get some 95s from Rogue because they didn't have 100s. Then when they got 100s, I went on ahead and got the 100s. Yeah, there are some adjustable dumbbells that you know I was looking at, but I have from you know five to 100 pounds. So I just got to do a little bit of moving around right now. So yeah, they serve their purpose. This right here, I got probably two months ago. It was at Dick Sporting Goods. When I used to work out in the gym, I used to love having the option for the uh, the fixed barbell and the straight bar. So this serves that purpose. Um, it's the Bowflex 2080. It adjusts from 20 to 80 pounds. And, you know, if I want to go a little heavier, I got, you know, these over here during COVID as well from Titan Fitness. So I have a 90 curl bar and I have a 110 straight bar. And then these right here, these are the uh, mutt bars. So I have a 55 and a 65. So I pretty much have all the ranges I want from 20 to 110, just depending on what movement that I'm doing that day. Benches, I have the jacked up fitness bench. I know that there's some other benches out there. I was looking at a rep bench not too long ago, but this one is pretty sturdy. I have no complaints with it. Um, the fitness gear bench, I got that during COVID. Um, it's, it, was, it served its purpose. Eventually, I might get something else, but I haven't had any you know, issues with it. And then this one is the uh, Titan Fitness Stationary Bench. I recently got this. I had the other one, the pink one. I like this one a lot better. So if you're looking at a stationary bench, you know, even though the, adjusting, the adjustable benches sit up, I always wanted this option. So, you know, check that out if that's something you're interested in. This is my little cardio area. Um, outside for the past four years, you know, I run the stairs, do it every morning, and then sometimes in the in the evening. My old condo where I used to live, I had stairs like right outside my door. So when we moved here, I didn't think I would have that option anymore. Well, I found some stairs at the park, but when we moved in here, I went with the stepper. Um, it was a toss up between the stepper and you know, like a, a stairmaster. I think it was like the four G. But I went with this. So it's, it's a smaller, you know, footprint, which was definitely something that I needed to maximize the space that I have. And then Nordic Track 1750. Um, there's different treadmills out there, of course. But I had a Nordic Track before in like uh, 2012. And I used to put a lot of different, a lot of miles on that thing, man. It never failed me. So I went with the Nordic Track and the Stepper. For storage, storage, you can go walk and troll if, if that's your thing. I uh, went with, 
you know, I got a body solid. It's kind of like a attachment tree. I have a DeWalt bench. The story behind the DeWalt bench was during COVID, I could not find another bench before I was able to get the fitness gear. So I had found the DeWalt bench at uh, Home Depot and I was using that as a flat bench, try to do different movements on it and things like that. So once we moved here, I didn't want to really get rid of it, not just yet. So now I just kind of use it as a storage for the attachments, like my landmine attachment, the uh, jacked up fitness, leg extension, leg curl, seat I have the titan fitness you know roll stand um, i put my shoes in here i lean my ruck plates that i use for various movements on it so yeah it's just that this is an adjustable plyo box from, it's a stamina but i also use it to put my uh my jacked up fitness lat seat and uh the, this is the extension that i was talking about so it extends out and I'll usually put it right here and it'll it's it's a fully functioning lat machine once you put that in there and then you 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 attach the one to one ratio so you can get some heavy lifts in with that uh you know those two attachments right there. Another storage area that I have here, I just have a bunch of miscellaneous things. Um collars. These right here were pretty cool, especially during COVID. <clears throat> These are attachments for the bands. So if you ever wanted to do like shoulder movement, curls and things like that, there's attachments. A lot of people talk crap about these, but I use these on the days that I do squat. So it doesn't hurt my neck. Call it what you want. <laughs> um, you know, push up stands. And I got a bag, you know, of these. It's probably like 40 of those <laughs> in there. Um more collars, just the metal ones. I don't know how I have so many. I know a lot of them came with that stand, but just most of the machines that I bought came with them. So I just kind of put those over here. I'm an ab roller type. If you're wondering why I have three, it's because when I used to put them in my gym bag, they would uh, I would always forget them. So now that I'm at home, I just have the three that I had. These are the things that I use for the knees. They come in a two-pack. So I had bought a two pack and then they delivered it when I first moved over here to the wrong neighbor. So I bought an additional one and then the neighbor had some cool neighbors. So he, he brought it back. These right here, man, game changer. And I still use them even though I have a, a you know, a functional trainer. These right here, the, uh, I'm going to say, I'm probably going to say it wrong. It's an anchor encore, <laughs> but these guys were great. I had bought these in 2000. 21 and this is when i didn't have a garage and i used to work out on my patio and i would just attach the cable machine to my patio and i had like a cable machine outside and recently the plates were loose so i sent them an email and they they replaced both sets of plates man so like today i'm going to do buys and tries and do a circuit so i'll just pretty much attach these two under the two um on the jacked up fitness and i'll be able to just get like four you know tricep pull down options man so and these are the the um the mounts for them that i just have hanging on my little amazon car uh this is my band tree so i pretty much got every band during covid different variations ethos um under sun i got my weight belts here but these right here are my favorite bands. These are the fitness gear. They have weights on them. So I got the 40s all the way up to the 100s, man. And these never snap. They're durable. They fade a little, which is weird. But outside of that, man, these have always been, you know. So on the days that I probably don't do, you know, free weights, you can do a lot with these and then just the attachments. Uh, this corner right here is, it's also <laughs> the jacked up fitness Rack comes with a preacher's curl attachment and a, a leg curl leg extension, and it comes with a stand, but those attach to that bench. So if you don't have an option to have this, or you don't want to get the, you know, the added extension curl seat, you can just get the attachment and you just attach it in here. Same with the, um, the preacher's curl stand over there. Excuse my son's uh, pool stuff. This right here was the first piece of equipment that I got during COVID. It was a power tower from City Birds. I think they're called Rail Life now. 
But before I was able to get my hands on anything, I would just do a lot of pull-ups, a lot of dips, a lot of air squats. Um, once I did get the 95s from Rogue, because I used to lift like the 115s and 120s in the gym, I couldn't find any regular dumbbells. So I was able to get my hands on these Thompson fat bills. These are like 106. So every once in a while, I'll pull those out. I'll drag them over. But I still have those as an as an option. Uh, also, this right here, this is like a, what I use for sissy squats. It has the option to do to be like a hyper extension, but I don't really use it for that. I don't know if it can hold my weight, but definitely use it for um, sissy squats. And I got a when I at first the walls were just bare, so I just started putting stuff up there that I liked. Different banners that you're able to pick up at uh. Amazon, things like that. This right here is pretty cool. Um, my coworker had got that for me. It was, uh, you know, I worked ROTC at San Diego State and I had finished my doctorate and I'm not somebody that's easy to they didn't get any type of gift for. So, you know, cause, because I, if I see something, I just get it. But, you know, they knew that I was moving into the new place and I wanted to have a home gym. So as a going away present, they got Dr. B's lifting club. Um, my son's been working out lately, so I got these little instructional posters, other posters, a couple of mirrors, just in odd places. I wasn't really big on just putting mirrors right there for whatever reason, but uh, TV mounted and you know, got my fire stick. I tend to watch a lot of YouTube and I've been binge watching Game of Thrones lately, things like that. Other little posters. Um, this one, I've seen in other people's videos. Nobody cares. Work harder. More instructional posters. Uh, my doctorate, I have that up there, man. Just as a reminder, that was hard work. This right here, uh, my son got me this yesterday for Father. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. It's uh, like a Game of Thrones. <laughs> so I put that up yesterday. Uh, and I make sure that, you know, you have the wipes. So I have some Clorox ones. But I got these a couple of weeks ago. So these come in like a 400 count. So you just kind of wipe down my equipment. Like I said, I try to sweep and mop up floors and wipe down everything as often as possible. I think I can tell having my own space now that gyms probably were a little bit nasty. <laughs> More than I was able to notice at the time. But yeah, like everybody has their reasoning for doing the whole home gym thing. Me, it was convenience. I'm, I work remote. But I was always getting up at the same time anyway, going to the gym, you know, early morning. So I never really had the issues with what's going on in the gym now and, you know, uh, people recording and all that stuff. And I record my work as, as well. So now I can do that from home. Um, a lot of people say, man, I got to I go to the gym sometimes because I miss, I miss the uh, the human connection. I don't like I said, I used to go at like two, three o'clock in the morning. It would be the same five or six people when I would go. But the main reason was, like, I had to have two gym memberships. So 24-Hour Fitness, when they started opening back up for 24 hours, because once COVID kind of died down, they were opening up at like, 5 in the morning. That was, you know, so I was still working out from home. But I, I guess due to staffing, there were times, man, you'd go there on a random day, like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, and it wouldn't be open. So I would have to have a second gym membership, like an Anytime Fitness or something like that just to make sure that I was able to get my workout in that morning. So when it came time for me to move, you know, and buy something else, that was the first thing that I thought about. I said, man, I got to have my own space. I'm going to get it to exactly how I want it. I want to make sure that, you know, I have space in between the machines. That way, you know, my family, everything's not all cluttered just on the ground and things like that. And then we can have access just to, you know, get certain things. I think the adjustables are also cool if you, you know, depending on what my family used lifts and things like that. So I just didn't really have the space. It would be cool to have a whole rack from like five to 100, but it's just not feasible for the option that I have. So, I mean, if if you're thinking about the home gym, man, just, you know, I, I haven't been disappointed. I moved here in April and I haven't had a uh, uh, an itch to go back to the gym in a while, even during COVID, those are some of my best workouts. And that was in my freaking living room or my patio. So, so there you go. That's, that's my home gym.